Hi, uh, today I will cover double check locking design pattern implementation. Uh, before uh, watch this video, please log into my channel and watch uh, double check locking design pattern introduction where I have explained what is double check locking design pattern and uh, why we need uh, double check locking design pattern etc. Uh, first watch that video and then come and watch this video so that you will understand very easily. Uh, in this tutorial, we will see how we can implement uh, double check locking design pattern. So as per the double check locking design pattern, we have to put the lock if it is really needed. Uh, so here uh, we can see uh, how we can implement double check locking design pattern. Uh, here we have get instance method uh, and if instance equal to equal to null and put the lock. And again we are checking if instance equal to equal to null, create the instance and uh, return the instance. So if lock is really needed, then only we are putting the lock. You will see if uh, th two threads are simultaneously enter into this get instance, what will happen. Suppose say thread A comes and it enters into the get instance method. It will check instance equal to equal to null. Yes, instance equal to equal to null. Uh, so it will come here and it will get the lock. And uh, that time uh, thread B has uh, come. So thread A allows uh, thread B to execute. And thread B will come here. It enters into the get instance method. It will check instance equal to equal to null. Instance uh, still it is equal to null and it will come here uh, so in this line only uh, thready already put the lock and uh, the from this line only thready allows thread b to execute so when thread b reaches here already uh, thread a has put the lock so thread b will be blocked here okay so thread b allows thread a to continue his that work so thread a comes here and it will come and it will check instance equal to equal to null. Yes, instance equal to equal to null. So it will create the new instance and assign to this one and it will return the instance and uh, thread A will come out of uh, synchronized block. So once thread A comes out of synchronized block, uh, thread B will uh, come and execute from this line which uh, uh, which thread, a, thread B was there in that uh, time and uh, thread B will check instance equal to equal to null. Yes, instance uh, not equal to null because thread a has already created the instance so thread b won't go to this block okay uh, so this third line won't be executed by thread b uh, thread b will return the instance which was already created by the thread a okay so in this manner only one instance will be created always okay uh, so this this way we can implement uh, double check locking design pattern uh, but in the introduction uh, when I have explained uh, what we have done is we have put a synchronized block here so that once uh, thread, a, thread a finishes that uh, work uh, till uh, thread a finishes that work thread b can't enter into that uh, block so in that way what we have done is every every time uh, some thread enters it put the lock but here when whenever the lock is needed that time only we are putting the lock so we move that synchronized here instead of here uh, before that uh, that introduction uh, the example i showed we put a synchronized block here so that every time uh, when some thread enters it will put the lock so the synchronization is a costly operation um, it will degrade the performance so here what we are doing is we are putting the lock whenever it is needed by moving the synchronize from uh, from method level to here okay and uh, theoretically uh, this double check locking pattern is uh, uh, perfect okay there is no issues but unfortunately in reality it is entirely different uh, because uh, the double check locking design pattern uh, is no guarantee guarantee uh, it will work in uh, single or multi processor machines uh, why it won't work is it is not because of uh, jvm bug because of the jvm memory model design uh, there is one problem called out of order writes that is a prime reason behind this uh, failure of uh, this double check locking design pattern this double check locking design pattern also called anti pattern uh, we will see what is out of order writes uh, issue in the next video tutorial I have created one separate video tutorial for that one. Please log into my channel and watch those, that video. Okay. And uh, this is about uh, double check locking design pattern. And thanks for watching. Bye.